So I am Dr. Malika Goyal. I am a retina specialist at Apollo Hospitals in Hyderabad, working here for the last 22 years. And I would like to speak about uh, how diabetes damages the eyes, especially the retina. So diabetes is primarily an inherited problem. It's not something that you do which can cause diabetes. But once you have diabetes over years, it damages various organs of the body by um, closing the blood supply, closing down the blood supply in the various organs so that uh, these organs start failing uh, over time. Um, in the retina, when the blood supply gets blocked, the uh, patient may have no uh, idea, the vision may be very good and um, it is only when they reach the last stage of the disease that the patient may start feeling symptoms. And so it is an international guideline that every diabetic should have um, the retina checked every year. So diabetes is mainly an inherited disease. Um, which we uh, get in our genes and it's not that we can uh, completely avoid having diabetes if we have the genes um, but we can do a lot of things to prevent uh, complications of diabetes uh, mainly being controlling the diabetes properly uh, and also the associated problems of blood pressure high cholesterol or using tobacco in any form whether it is smoking or chewing because all these uh, diseases uh, they all act in the same way by blocking the blood supply in the various organs of the body, including in the eyes. Uh, so once you have diabetes um, uh, and it starts blocking the blood supply in the various organs, these organs start failing over time, over years. And in the retina, you may have an advanced disease uh, without knowing. Your vision may be very good, but you may actually be having very advanced disease. And that's why it's an international um, guideline that every diabetic should have a dilated pupil retina exam uh, every year so that the specialist can pick up the disease which is going to cause blindness and treat in time. When the blood supply to the retina, the film of the eye goes down, uh, the body starts forming abnormal compensatory blood vessels uh, which are actually do not do anything good but they actually lead to blindness by suddenly bleeding or causing detachment of the retina and if you have been having yearly retina checkups the we can pick up these abnormal blood vessels which you will not know about and we can start the laser treatment to arrest the uh, development of these uh, vessels uh, laser acts by reducing the uh, demand of blood by the retina so that the demand and supply become equal and these blood vessels uh, go away now once the specialist decides that you need uh, laser treatment, it is um, usually done in about 3 to 4 sittings and sometimes even more sittings separated by 1 to 2 weeks apart gap. And um, when the laser is enough, all these vessels will go away and you are safe. You don't even realize that you had a problem coming and it is already gone. Now if you uh, are present to the doctor after you have had a major bleeding, you have lost vision, even then. Um, we can, uh, uh, we, even then it's treatable, we wait for a few weeks till the blood clears and then we start the laser treatment. Sometimes uh, you may uh, present to the doctor when the retina has already started falling off and at this stage uh, the only treatment that the uh, doctor can offer is surgery to reattach your retina and then follow it up with laser. Now sometimes the diabetes can present with swelling in the retina rather than uh, bleeding or retina detachment and that presents as blurring of the vision and this swelling of the retina can be treated by good control of your diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, your, any kidney problems that you may be having and uh, if this is not enough then the doctor may decide to treat you with injections into your eyeball. Now these injections may be required uh, periodically, repeatedly, uh, maybe from one month to three months duration uh, gaps intervals. Uh, depending on your response and these may be required for one to two years uh, ultimately usually the swelling will go away and you may not need any more injection. In summary what I would like to say is that many of the complications of diabetes um, can be prevented by very good control of diabetes right from the outset of diagnosis, control of the associated problems like blood pressure, high cholesterol, high thyroid, <coughs> uh, use of tobacco and uh, good exercise, very good exercise can reduce all the complications of diabetes. Periodic retina checkup, every year retina checkup is a must for every diabetic or hypertensive so that the specialist can pick up the disease in the treatable stages and prevent complications. Most of the complications are preventable and in the earlier stages they are even treatable. Most of the eyes even with advanced disease can get back vision with a combination of laser, injections, surgery. and. Um, but the key to uh, success is uh, uh, good control, 
uh, early diagnosis and early treatment. Thank you.